Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, here we are again. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, today I took a little trip up to Aldi's and look at this awesome candle I got for $1.79. Wild white almond soy blend candle. And so let's compare and contrast Dollar Tree 125 all these 179. This is why a lot of us are abandoning the uh, dollar stores. The stuff is overpriced sometimes. Wow, this is nice. I was thinking about buying another one. I might take another trip up there, but they had a sign and it said something to the effect of don't, don't hoard. <laughs> Okay, so this video, I got these hot, hot dog buns at all these. I happen to like their, um, their buns, their hot dog and hamburger buns. I think they're tasty. So, uh, today I was at all these and I bought these, uh, hot dogs. So, um... According to the ad, here's the hot dogs, uh, turkey cheddar, smoked turkey sausage with cheddar cheese. And uh, I located these, what did I do with my ad? Uh, I located them with the food ad. This is a new one. They were $3.09, so 50 cents each. I don't think you can beat that. And so I'm taking a look at my flyer. So, um, this is hot dogs three ways out of the stockpile. So, uh, one of the things I like is hot dogs. I've mentioned this many times, but I don't remember ever making this. I probably did. It's hot dogs. And this is a half pound rice. Also, some of the channels are saying uh, there's rice, but there's not regular rice. There's the more uh, expensive type rices. And uh, I got this really good rice a while back. That's a half a cup, but it's okay if there's extra because this tastes really good cold. So um, I have a little sugar. So you might be going, oh, that can't be good. Yeah, this is good. And uh, I bought this sugar. Where is the sugar? Well, it's still in the refrigerator. But I bought it at, I got a good deal on it. Here's the rice I got. I think I'm going to get a couple bags of this stuff. And then uh, I will have some uh, shelf stable milk. So uh, you're not going to starve if you have rice. That's why we're stockpiling rice. So I'll just make one at a time. So uh, mustard. And I'm going to do a taste test on this. And if I like it, I'm going to say I like it. If I hate it, I'm going to say I hate it. Uh, this is a good brand. This is the Kirkland brand. Or Kirkwood. They have this at... Um, I think at uh, Costco. And then I have some uh, dill pickle relish. I stocked up on relish because I've been making a lot of salads with re relish like uh, coleslaw, uh, potato salad, you know, just any old kind of... Any, so this is the first rice recipe right out of the stockpile. And the other one is if you have hot dogs and you have chili with maybe cheese with french fries, yum. Or if you have potatoes, I bought these at Aldi's and they're huge, but I found them to be good. So, um, I've sort of been, uh, switching over to all these. Let's see if I can 
try this. All right, turkey cheddar. tea. How five extra dollars can really help you out when lean times arrive and then hot dogs three ways. So uh, how is five lousy dollars going to help anything? Well, it started out, I thought, well, I'm going to put every week or so five extra dollars of uh, in my uh, glove compartment or, you know, my purse or gas. If I don't need it, I could just save it up and then eventually it's going to buy my gas for the week. Number two, meat. I put an extra $5 in my um, purse. And today when I was at Aldi's, they had these giant packs of chicken legs. And the original price was $7.13 and this is uh, five pounds. So for five pounds of chicken, I ended up paying uh, $3.77. So this is the thing. Um, I'm afraid a lot of people are just going, you know, I, I have to go where I can get the best deals. And then I started putting $5 a week away for non food items such as today when I was at Aldi's I got this toilet paper for five dollars and so you know if times were lean I could get my extra five dollars out and I could buy myself some toilet paper I saw some ads what to do when the <laughs> what to do when the toilet paper runs out uh no the toilet paper is not running out we're taking steps just to make sure that the toilet paper does not run out at my house. Uh, during the pandemic, oh, it was awful, but I did find masks and gloves, everything I needed. I raised my son on this cheap fare. Okay, so uh, just setting, a, when you get extra money, it doesn't have to be every week, gas, meat, and non-food items. The Bank of England has listed, this is a good one, a statement. People need to accept that they are poorer. I'm thinking, yeah, right, not. So what the people need to do is cut back to the same rate as the inflation. So if the inflation is up 10%, you cut back 10% or you find a way to earn an extra 10% or a combination of both. So what I am trying to do is think of one, you know, productive thing I can do and you guys will see me do it too, as soon as I figured out what it is. Uh, last week I went to the uh, swap meet and I'm still recovering. It's very bad, everything's a big mess. Okay, so Bank of England people need to accept that they are poorer. Okay, are people look working less? Yeah, because th there's these mass layoffs. Well, hell yeah, you're poor if you don't have a job. It's getting scary. Anything, everything from Disney to Amazon. I, I mean, it's, it's scary. All right, here's a good one. The city of San Diego opens the fourth safe parking lot for the homeless in Rose Canyon. It's open 24 hours a day. There's 12 spaces and 12 uh, trailers. And it's resources from the Jewish Family Services. This is U in University City, Northwest University, uh, San Diego, bordered by La Jolla. So at least the, the weather is good up there. It's not too hot. Um, they're saying a lot more homeless is on the way and 24 spaces is not, 
you know, even, I mean, it's good for the 24 families that get in. Okay. No. About this homeless place. Okay, a lot of times you have, you cannot be using drugs to get into this help. Or you might have to relinquish a portion of your disability, which they might not want to do. Because a lot of these people here have disability. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, does this make any sense if there's anyone out there, just anyone surviving on disability that you can't? If there's anyone on on Section 8, is it in the realm of possibility that you could get Section 8 as well? Okay, so let's see. Today at Aldi's, I bought toilet paper, $5. Uh, chicken, seven uh, thirteen marked down $3.36 to $3.77. And I bought seeds. There hasn't been any seeds out here, you guys. So today, one of the things that was really bogging my day down is the garden. So I planted radishes. I had these open from last year. I'm going to try to grow cherry tomatoes. They're saying don't, um, don't uh, plant yet another cold. Last year, I had a good luck with radishes. Never think. And I planted soy. And I planted uh, squash out of my squash plants. And then all these had these for 59 cents, green beans and uh, squash. So this is, I bought two of these, you know, so as not to be a resource hog. Then when I was at all, all these, I saw this baking soda. I bought this for 79 cents. Look at the size I bought last time. I paid a lot more than 79 cents. I use that all the time. I bought uh, a bag of lemons, and I used two because I made some lemon bread. And then this is an example of the hand soap. They had it in the bathroom. I tried it. I liked it, and it was 87 cents. So do you see how this $1.25, $1.29 thing is termites when you can get things like this? And then the possibility that the food might be a little bit better quality. Uh, the lemons, I think the lemons were $3.99. So I just bought a few things. Uh, today I had another uh, double stack at Wendy's late in the day. And I noticed, you know, I've been eating these big hamburgers. And I haven't been eating as much at night. It has been reported that the major cities want to uh, cut the carbon footprint. That means they want us eating less meat. So what's probably going to happen is the meat is going to go up in price and they might tax the meat. And so what we have to do is kind of prepare. I'd say mostly it's probably the thing is the vegetarian meat is no cheaper, you guys. So uh, maybe think about that. So the double stack was $3.75, but I could get two double hamburgers for $4. But I wasn't over there. I was over here. So that was good. So I had chicken pie, eggs and pancakes, and now hot dogs and rice for my three meals. Here, okay, what I did is I bought this big bag of walnuts at Aldi's. And on the back of it... There was this recipe. I'll try to let you get it, and then I, I wrote it out for you. I had bought um, a box of uh, blueberries, one seventy nine, and then I bought these um, walnuts the other day, and I bought the lemons today. Let me give you this recipe. It's really easy to make. What I did is I mixed all the wet ingredients and all the dry ingredients. And then I stirred the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And then I baked 350. I only made half a batch. And then I made the glaze. So once you start getting your stockpile, you know, you can exist pretty cheap. That's why we're stockpiling. 
As you can see, I already ate, it made one fairly large loaf. And then this is delicious with tea. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.